Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the students of class 6. Once again, this is the second topic which we'll discuss in the topic is again Musa Ali's camel and it's, it has been again taken from your two syllabus of class 6 English textbook. First of all, let us have a recap of those points which we have already discussed in first session uh, which you have viewed before. When we started our lesson, we see that a doctor by profession and her daughter, his, you know, his daughter named Sana, the daughter has been transferred from Srinagar to Nobra Valley of Ladakh. He asked her daughter to accompany uh, him. So the father and the daughter went to Nobra Valley where they stayed as paying guests in the house of Dol Dixit Dolma. So Sana Sama, when she reached um, uh, Nobra, she became friends with Dolma. And uh, this Sama, she was very curious to know about the Nobra Valley and the specialities. Dolma Dixit told her that there are some of the specialities. The first specialty is this. Ladakh is called a desert and second one is it's not simply a desert it is a cold desert and the third speciality which uh, Dolma told uh, about Ladakh is that there is a camel called bacterian camel and that camel has two humps instead of one so to answer these curiosities and and to see the live things there Dolma fixed a meeting uh, of hers and uh, Sama with a local boy who was just like a shepherd boy whose name is Musa Ali. So now the meeting had been uh, fixed on the next or coming Sunday. Now the coming Sunday has arrived. We are just going to meet that Musa Ali and we'll see how this Bactrian camel is looking like. My dear students, as it's English language, most of all we have to we have to take care of the things, how we can read the things, what will be the pronunciation of the words and what is the fluency in the language. So for that, there are some techniques we use in a class. And one of the techniques is called loud reading. In this class, first what we'll do, we'll have loud reading of a portion or we can say the remaining portion of the lesson so that you'll be able to read the portion uh, easily with correct pronunciation, with fluency, and then we'll discuss some of the vocabularies that has been used in this lesson. So if you remember, in our first class, we left I'm reading a few lines from that portion so that you will remember where we had already left in the first class and now in the second class we'll, we'll move forward. We have left here. Sama was very curious to know how, who this uh, Musa Ali was. However, it was a bright Sunday morning and Sama was very happy because she had no other friends at Nobra. Sama and Dolma, after enjoying Gurgur tea and Mukmuk, -muk, left for Musa Ali's home. Sama was surprised to see the camel cock in the company of a boy. Dixit Dolma, pointing towards the boy, said, Look, he is Musa Ali. After exchanging pleasantries, Dolma and uh, Musa uh, Dolma asked Musa Ali to tell oh, sorry. Okay. to tell them something about the bacterian camel. Musa Ali looked uh, Musa Ali asked them to accompany him along with the camel cough into the vicinity of his village Dickinson, where a group of bacterian camel was present. Now, if you see on your book, there is a passage 
written on the green box this is the passage of information where you will get the correct information about this Bactrian camel. I am reading this portion also so that you will get the information and later on when you recap or when you repeat this lesson you will be able to understand what actually a Bactrian camel is and how it looks like. For example, here the words are the Bactrian camel is originally a native of Mongolia where it is called the Hatkai. However, it is also found in remote areas of Gobi deserts and in Mongolia and China where it is heavily hunted for its height and meat. It is interesting to know that most of the transport across Karakoram and Silk Road was on the double hunt Bactrian camel because of its outstanding performance on the mountains and desert trails. The Bactrian camel is the best prepared mammals for the harsh atmospheres of the desert. Faced with the scorching heat, chilling cold and scarcity of food and water, many animals struggle but the wild Hatkai faced all the odds. The camel can cover around 50 kilometers a day. The camel's long, narrow nostril and dense eyelashes sufficiently um, prevent damage from uh, sandstorms. It civets and urinates little, thus prolonging resistance of thirst. It was not actually the part of your lesson, your story, but it was a caption that gives you a good uh, deed of information regarding this Bactrian camel. Now, let us move to our own story where now three characters, Dolma, Sama, and Musa Ali are discussing about the Bactrian camel. Sama, it is so great to see the camel car clinging to Musa Ali. Musa Ali. I have many times tried to find the camel calf's mother so that the camel can join its herd because I take it as my moral duty. Dolma, it is so happy with you, it treats you as its mother. Sama, nowadays one hardly finds harmony between man and animals. It seems that the two cannot coexist. Encroaching upon the animal world deprives the animal world of their habitat. Every now and then we see about the tiger killing a man and a man killing a bear. Musa Ali. The population of the Bactrian camel is also declining currently. The Bactrian camel is found only in Mongolia, China, and Ladakh, Nobra, and a number of wild Bactrian uh, camel is a few thousand worldwide. However, it's encouraging thing in Nobra, it is uh, increasing in number. Dolma, what is the reason behind it? Sama, obviously main animal relationship. Didn't you notice the camel calf's love for Musa Ali? Musa Ali, it is a symbiotic relationship, I hope, for the wild Bactrian camel to survive and grow in number which has otherwise almost reached to the brink of extinction. Dolma. Well, Musa, you had taken a chance to look for the uh, reunion of calf camel calf with its herd but could not find the camel's uh, calf's mother. So the story goes on between the two of you, Musa Ali. Yes, the camel calf is my companion and the two of us will face the hard times ahead of us together. This is the rest of the portion of the text. First half we have already done in the first class and this is the second class in which we are discussing this lesson. Uh, Musa Ali's uh, camel. Now again, I'm, I'm uh, remembering you that it is the unit two of class six textbook. Now, 
After reading uh, this portion, you might have uh, got the idea how you can read and how you can improve your reading. But only reading is not sufficient for the students. It is something that you have to understand, you have to comprehend the text which you are reading. For that, what you have to do, you have to go through the vocabulary, you have to go through the word meaning of those words which you do not understand yourself. So, to help you in this order, I have uh, written a few words from the lesson. These are those words I, I, I think that you may or may not be knowing. There are students who might know these words already, but there are students who might not be knowing. So, for those students who do not know these words, I'll read those words out with uh, proper pronunciation and I'll read the meaning out also so that when you go through the book, you will understand the lesson very nicely and very easily. On this vocabulary chart, my first word is native. It's pronounced as native. Native means local, the resident of a particular area. So, we say in our lesson that Musa Ali was a native boy of Nobra. So, native means local. Musa Ali is the local boy of this Nobra Valley. Second word on the chart is Haktakai. Although, this word is not from English language. This word is from Mongolian language. And this Haftkai, what is this Haftkai? It is the Mongolian name for Bactrian camel. The third word on the chart is height. Mo mostly, we are using this word as verb. Height in, uh, in this lesson has been used as noun. And it is the synonym of sickle. The fourth word is trail. Just check the word. It's not trial. Most of the students read it as trial. But the spelling of the trial is T-R-I-A-L. But here the word is T-R-A-I-L. So we have to be conscious while reading out this word. It is trail. Trails means a narrow unpaved pathway. That means we have some pedalways in the in the forests in the jungles where least number of people walk on those on those paths and those paths are called trails the fifth word is scorching and this scorching in our lesson is related to heat that means scorching heat is written for the uh, des hot deserts this scorching means intensely hot when you have increasing heat when you have extreme heat that is called scorching heat and we can experience that scorching heat in dry and hot des deserts now we will move to uh, another word and that another word is ch chilling we, we we might have heard the word chill and we are relating to our atmosphere, our weather, we have a part of weather that is called chilakalan that has the resemblance with this word chill and here we have used it as adjective chilling, chilling means extremely cold. Now let us move to another word. There is a word used uh, in your lesson that Bactrian camel fight all the odds. Odds are a word here and it means difficulties. That means there were a lot of difficulties which Bactrian Camel uh, faced in that area, but he uh, proved himself successful in, in facing those difficulties. Now, the eighth word is written here, eyelashes. Eyelashes, everyone have eyelashes on, on the eyelids. The meaning of this eyelashes is here, grown in a line on the edge of eyelids. And we have, we have seen that every animal has eyelashes and these eyelashes protect these animals uh, of any sort of disturbance that is in the atmosphere because eyes are very um, crucial and, and cr uh, very soft part of hu human or animal body and it is very uh, precious also that is why Almighty Allah has given a protection uh, to these eyes and one of the part of the protecting uh, this eye is eyelashes. Now there is another word resistance. This resistance has been derived from resist. Resist means 
the capacity to oppose. The capacity to oppose means the capacity to bear any, any difficulty, any trouble, or any odd. Well, another word, word number 10 on the chart, that is protect. What do you mean by protect? It is save or secure. Or we can say, in, in exact words, we can say that to save from a danger. When you save some, something from the danger, it will be called protect. Another word used in the lesson is clinging. Here, the quotation was, the camel car was clinging to Musa Ali. Clinging means attaching or sticking. There is another word here, word number 12, that is encroaching. We might have heard about encroachment. What this encroachment or encroaching is? It is to intrude unrightfully or to advance gradually beyond your uh, due limits. We have another word, deprives. Deprives means to deny something to someone. And the last word which I have written here is symbiotic. Symbiotic relationship is written there. Symbiotic means living together. There is symbiotic relationship between man and animal. And we see that symbiotic relationship between Musa Ali and uh, the camel calf. Now, this was a vocabulary. This vocabulary can be used when you go through the lesson, just watch the meaning of these words, try to understand our text so that you can be able to use the part of the language very easily. For example, the language needs four basic skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. When we use any sort of vocabulary, it helps us to understand the things, it helps us to read out the things properly, and ultimately, it helps us to write down anything. The purpose of this lesson is not to know only about Bactrian Camel. The purpose of this lesson is to develop language skills among the students. Dear students, you might know that in this lesson, we already know how to write a dialogue, how to develop rather a dialogue, how we can develop questions regarding any curiosities and how we'll try to answer those questions. When a series of questions and answers came, that itself becomes a dialogue. There is another thing which we will try to learn today and that is to write a description. Description of something, description of an animal, description of a person, description of a place, description of a building. What things we know, what things we need to know when we go to describe anything. Here we have already learned the things about Bactrian camel. Let us see how we can describe this Bactrian camel. We can, we can describe Bactrian camel in different ways. For example, on this chart, I have already described Bactrian camel, but this Bactrian camel has been described in points. For example, the first point about Bactrian camel is written, what is the zoological name of Bactrian camel? It is Camelus bactrianus. Once again, I am repeating, the zoological name of the Bactrian camel is Camelus bactrianus. It's a herbivore. The students, you have already learned about three different types of animals on the basis of their food habits. One we call herbivore, second we call uh, carnivore, and third we call omnivore. And when we say an animal is a herbivore, that means he can feed uh, itself only on uh, vegetation, green grass, leaves, and other things. So, saying that this Bactrian camel is a herbivore, that means he can, he can live only on green grass, animals, and other things. Food preferences. The, this food preference means what kind of food this Bactrian camel prefer to eat. We have written here grass, leaves, 
and shrubs. These are the things which uh, bacteria and camel prefer to eat. But it can also eat. It's not the case that uh, a bacteria and camel can eat only these things. It can also eat dry vegetation and salt bushes. It's actually basalt bushes. It, it's found, uh, it's, it's like just like some cactus, very har harsh bushes and only those camels can eat these salt bushes. Habitat, habitat means the place where this bacteria and camel uh, lives. The habitat for a bacteria and camel is steep grassland, mountain valleys, for example, Nobra. Followed by a physical description. These were some of the characteristics of bacteria and camel. Now we'll come to physical description of this bacteria and camel. A bacteria and camel can grow up to the length of 10 feet. When it, it comes into the adult age, there the maximum uh, length of a bacteria and camel can be 10 feet and it is height at the hump level. Make it clear that the height is counted at the hump level of a bacteria and camel. At the hump level, the highest height of a bacteria and camel will be up to 7 feet and its weight will be 1500, 1500 pounds. This is a British uh, measuring unit. We, we don't mostly know what a pound is. A pound is equal to 400 grams. That means 1500 grams are all uh, equal to 600 kilograms. That means a bacterian camel can grow up to 600 kilograms. Now, Coming to the color of a Bactrian camel, a Bactrian camel is mostly of the color of light to dark brown. So we can say that a usual Bactrian has a brown color. Some uh, Bactrian camels are of light brown and some are of dark brown. Then humps. When a normal camel, an Arabian camel has only one hump, this Bactrian camel has two humps. Now, there is another word written here. If you, if you look at the spelling of this word, it is written like this. G-E-S-T-A-T-I-O-N. Most of the students and most of the readers read it just like gestation. No, my dear students, this is not gestation. This is gestation. So, we have to use proper pronunciation so that the listener will also understand what we are reading. Again, I am repeating, this is gestation. What do you mean by gestation? And it's a period of pregnancy in any animal. Here on our textbook, it is, it is written like this. 12 to 15 months followed by a single birth. But my dear students, let me clear you here. This is a bit uh, confusing here. It's not possible that gestation period will be from 12 to 15 months. It is exactly, you will remember, it is exactly 13 months. In humans, it's 9 months. In cows, it's again 9 months. And here, in bacterian camels or in simply camels, it is 13 months. That means a 13 months pregnancy followed by a single birth. Single birth means once only one kid or one calf is getting birth. Lifespan. The maximum limit of life is called lifespan. A bacterian camel can live up to 40 years. Or we can say that the maximum life for a bacterian camel can be 40 years. And the last thing which I have uh, written on this description chart is status. What do you mean by status? Status is something, what is the current situation of this kind of animal and very unfortunately for Bactrian camel, it is endangered. What do you mean by endangered? Endangered means a species that is reducing, that is decreasing in number at a fast rate and after a short period of time it will become extinct but in the lesson it was something encouraging when Musa Ali says that in Nobra Valley this bacterian camel 
is increasing in number that was something encouraging but when we see worldwide this bacterium camel has been termed as endangered this was a kind of description that I have put on certain points regarding bacterium camel but my dear student it is not only this way you can describe an animal or a thing there are a few more ways we'll discuss on those ways how we can describe something or some some animals some building some some place so that it will be easy for us and we'll have a complete description there is a technique that is called thematic mind map thematic mind map what is this thematic mind map thematic mind map is a graphical representation of any sort of description for example we are here describing bactrian camel bactrian camel what we are doing we are writing this word in the center of the page and then what sort of uh, information we know we write in certain points for example it is zoological name we'll write camelus bacterianus then we have the food habit then we have food preferences then we have its habitat then we have its uh, description then we have its color then we have its uh, special quality of hops then we have gestation period and then we have uh, status when we write these points on those arrows this will be called a thematic mind map but this thematic mind map is not enough for uh, you students what actually you need you need to write a small or a large write up about any kind of animal what you have to do you have to try to convert these points into sentences and then you have to connect those sentences to make a passage to make a para so that when you come up with your write-ups it will be a nice write-up so this is one of the techniques called thematic mind map and this is again a technique this is called a chart of description so we can describe things uh, with uh, different uh, techniques but this is one of the technique where students of your level class 6 class 7 class 8 it, you will find very easy to deal any, with any topic of description so uh, to conclude here let me let me uh, recap a few points in this lesson we have uh, read the lesson loudly so that we'll we'll find uh, we'll we'll know what the pr uh, proper pronunciation of the words are. Now, we have already gone through certain kinds of vocabulary we have already described a camel and then we have find one or two techniques how we can describe uh, anything any animal and here we have tried to describe bacteria and camel now your homework will be you must be able to describe any any animal anything but the techniques you have to apply are these kinds of techniques thank you very much